Hello everyone, so welcome to this year's first calculus video. So let me start by asking you a question. What is velocity? Well, right now you're probably thinking, well, that guy is stupid. I know what velocity is. If I'm driving my car and it says I'm going at 50 kilometers per hour, I know what that means. But it's not that, uh, it can be a little more complicated than that. So let me tell you a little story. Suppose that I am indeed driving my car, blah, 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 and then suddenly, policeman comes along and he stops me. He says, whoa, 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 you were driving at 70 kilometers per hour and the limit here is 50 kilometers per hour. This is not good. Then I, you know, being a clever first year calculus student, I reply, well, how can that be? I've only been driving for 10 minutes. I surely wasn't driving for, you know, 70 kilometers per hour. I only drove for 10 minutes. Policeman's not stupid. He says, well, you know what I mean. Like, if you had kept driving for an hour, you would have gone through 70 kilometers. I said, nah, I don't think so. I was actually decelerating now. My velocity was decreasing. So clearly I would not have gone through 70 kilometers in the next hour. Uh, the cop is getting a little angry and he says, well, you know what I mean. If you had kept going at a constant velocity, you would have gone through 70 kilometers in the next hour. And then I say, well, no, I don't think so. If you look in front of you, like in about a kilometer, there's a big cliff. So I think I would have just hit the cliff before I reached 70 kilometers. Okay, I'm going to stop this story here, but I guess you get the point. Defining velocity is not as easy as we think. By the way, I have a three-year-old son, which is why I like playing with these little cars. But you have to admit that that one's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, I love it. Okay, so anyway, so let's try to be a little more precise and define mathematically what we mean by velocity. Okay, so suppose that I'm in my car, so one thing I can do is draw a graph of the position of my car as a function of time. So I put the time in the x-axis, and the position here, which I'll call x of t, what I'll get is something like that. Now, the exact shape of the graph depends on, you know, how fast I'm going, whether I'm accelerating, and so on. Okay, now you want to define the velocity. So how can you do that? Well, the easiest way to define velocity, which is the way we th really think about it, usually, is as average velocity. So I'm choosing two moments of time, say one minute, which I call t1, and two minutes. And then there's corresponding position. So at one minute, I was at this position x of t1. Two minutes, I was at x of t2. And then we define the average velocity as being just the the distance covered, so the difference in position over the interval of time, t2 minus t1. Now, this is the kind of velocity I was talking about when I was driving my car, but the policeman had a different definition. What he was talking about was a velocity that was really associated to a particular moment of time. So he, was, he wanted to associate a velocity to the particular moment where he arrested me. So he was trying to talk about something we call instantaneous velocity. But we can't really define that, right? We need two moments of time to define velocity, the average velocity. But what we can do is choose our second moment of time to be very, very close to t1. So I'm just going to draw an arrow here, saying that I'm bringing t2 to be very, very, very extremely close to t1, so that the average velocity becomes average over a very, very small interval of time around t1. And in fact, this can be defined mathematically. What we say is that we're bringing t2 infinitesimally close to t1. By the way, infinitesimal is a word that I have a very hard time saying in English, so don't laugh at me. Uh, anyway, so that's what we do. And the actual way that we define ma this mathematically is in terms of a limit process. So we write that we take the limit as t2 goes to t1 of the velocity or the average velocity over this time interval. This is how we define the instantaneous velocity, which is exactly what the policeman was talking about. Okay, this is pretty cool, but in fact, it's probably a lot cooler than you think. So this old process of starting from a function, in this case, the position function, and extracting another function, in this case, the velocity, through this limiting process, is something that has a name. It's called taking the derivative. In fact, we can also use a different name for it. We also say that this is process of differentiating a function. And not only does it have a name, it also has its particular notation. So we usually write 
v of t, which is the derivative of f x of t as being x prime of t, or equivalently dx over dt. These two notations mean exactly the same thing. What it means is that you start with the position function, and through this process you extract a new function, which is the derivative of the position function. Now, not only does it have a name and a particle notation, but there's a whole, it's very, very important in mathematics, and there's a whole field of mathematic, mathematics which is about studying these things, and it's called differential calculus. In fact, we'll spend probably half of this year studying differential calculus, which is studying the process of taking derivatives and properties of derivatives. So the general question in differential calculus, so it goes way beyond just, you know, position and velocity. The question is, if I give you an arbitrary function, can you calculate its derivative through this definition here? So we'll study a lot of techniques and tools to calculate these derivatives. And in fact, we'll see that also it has a very nice geometric interpretation, which you can see from the picture here. It turns out that derivatives is very closely connected to the uh, tangent line to the graph of the function. So we'll study all of that and much more in the upcoming few weeks.